for the last several days I've been hanging around the little town of Ferndale in Humboldt County. Uh, one of the nicest little towns you will ever find. Uh, it's a historic little town and very cute. Uh, I don't think you'll find a cuter, more friendly town anywhere. Um, well, there might be a few, but uh, it's a special place. And uh, the reason I was staying there uh, so long was that it's right near the Lost Coast, and so I could park in town, and locals are really friendly about van life people, and so I was parking in town and then driving out to the Lost Coast and spending the day. And I realized that as much as I liked the town and the people and everything there, it was just getting to be a little bit too expensive. I was doing a lot more driving than I really uh, can afford to do going back and forth those few miles from town to the coast. And so this morning I just kind of begrudgingly uh, left Ferndale and I am just kind of wandering trying to find a new place to settle. Now today I'm in the little town of, well, the city of uh, Arcata and it's just a little bit north of Ferndale and right along the coast here in Humboldt County and I decided to just stop here for a second. I'm not intending to stay here. I tried to stay here for a few days uh, last a uh, couple weeks ago I guess and um, this is a really busy city. Uh, traffic always going on, people always walking around. Uh, doesn't seem to slow down even at night and I was getting a ton of anxiety trying to park here overnight. I just wasn't sleeping well. So I ended up going back to Ferndale, back to the little tiny town where I knew I could sleep. I knew I'd have some quiet and I could also get out to the Lost Coast and really get some peace and quiet. Uh, because there's not a lot of people out at the Lost Coast. So this is a place I've been to before. In fact, I was here a couple weeks ago when I tried parking in town for a few nights. Uh, this is a really cool little community park. It's got all these little trails that you can walk through the redwoods here. Uh, it's such a peaceful place. And so I figured I couldn't just drive by and not stop. Uh, plus, just down the trail here a little bit uh, is an old friend, so I thought I would walk over and uh, just see him and say hello for a second. So uh, let's go do that and then um, stretch my legs a little bit and maybe I can decide where I'm going to go after this because I, like I said, I don't think I'm planning on staying here in the city for any length of time. This is normally a pretty busy trail because it's right near Cal Poly Humboldt, uh, within walking distance, uh, as well as a bunch of neighborhoods here. So I'm surprised at how quiet it is here today. It's usually much busier. Well, here he is. Here's my old friend, Mr. Woodstump. Nice to see you, Mr. Woodstump. Your hair is looking a little different these days, but it uh, has been a couple of years since I've seen you last. But you're looking happy and, you know, fairly healthy. Keeping a watch over all your friends here. Always nice to see you, Mr. Woodstump. Take it easy. Well, I've learned in the past that not everybody likes Mr. Woodstump, uh, at least not as much as me, but I think he's a fine gentleman and he seems to be uh, keeping a good eye over his friends here, so he's doing a lot of good. So I like to stop and see him whenever I can. I did stop and see him uh, two weeks ago when I was here in town. All kidding aside, um, I do need to get a move on here because this area does give me quite a bit of anxiety and I'm not really sure why. I've got some other little pressing issues to deal with, but um, 
it's just odd to me that such a beautiful place like this gives me a bit of tension. Uh, of course, I don't have much tension here. It's a pretty nice place here, but the city of Arcata is a different story. So I think uh, make my way back to the van and then uh, head out of town. Not sure where yet. <laughs> Well, this little park is really remarkable in that it's so close to downtown Arcata, and yet when you're back up on those trails, it is really nice and peaceful. Uh, you just don't feel like you're that close to a city. This is a type of park that I really like to find. Um, I would like to stay here a little bit longer, but like I said, I'm getting a bit of anxiety around this area, um, probably because it's so busy. Uh, there's some other factors going on here. Um, this is not the safest of places in all of the area, so uh, it's not, not bad by any means, but um, it's not the safest of places, and so that puts me a little bit on edge. Uh, when I did park here for a couple of nights, uh, there were lots of people walking around the van all night long, and that uh, kept waking me up. I didn't sleep well uh, when I was here, and... That's important. That's the most important thing. So I uh, decided not to stay here very long. But the other thing is uh, I am not getting any work around this area. And if you're not a YouTube channel member or a Patreon supporter, you probably won't understand what I mean by that. And I'm not going to answer any questions about that. Uh, channel supporters know what I'm talking about with that. Uh, just don't go into that. Uh, too much uh, here, but um, yeah, the the lack of work here is really causing me some stress, and so it's another reason why I can't really just stay in Ferndale for too much longer, so that's why I left, and I, like I said, I don't know where to go exactly, but I figure I'll check out some of the other cities, some of the bigger cities, and hopefully I get a better vibe uh, than I do here and certainly a better vibe than I get in Eureka, uh, which is the next city uh, to Arcata here. That's uh, quite a rough and tumble town if you've never been there. But uh, I'm going to hit the road and just go a bit north. Uh, my first stop, I think, is going to be to McKinleyville, which is just a bit north. Uh, I need to stop at a grocery store and pick up a couple of things. So that'll be first stop and see how it feels. Well, this is a cool little store, but it is a natural food store, so it is kind of expensive. And normally I've been trying to stay out of that, especially with my stress about money at the moment. Um, but I came here for one thing, and I'm happy that they had it. Uh, I have been using this Dr. Bronner's hand lotion as a hair cream. Um, it's really light, and when I use it, it kind of styles my hair a little bit and keeps it from getting uh, too dry. And they actually have a hair cream. Dr. Bronner's actually makes a hair cream, but it's quite a bit more expensive than their hand lotion. And the, f the funny thing is, I was talking about this recently, is that this makes a terrible hand lotion as far as I'm concerned. It's just not, it just doesn't work. As soon as you wash your hands the first time, it's like you didn't even use it in the first place. And uh, I only like it as a hair cream. Um, and so that's what I've been using it for, but uh, because it's hard to find, I bought some of this brand's hand cream thinking that it'd be similar, uh, and it's not. This is leaving like a flaky residue all over my hair. So yesterday I actually used some coconut oil, but it's really messy and it ends up not really absorbing into my hair and scalp, and so I end up uh, getting a bunch of oil all over my uh, uh, pillowcase, which is not good. Um, so I've, ru I've ruined a couple of pillowcases by using coconut oil. I don't know why it doesn't absorb. I thought it was supposed to absorb, but I guess it just doesn't absorb into my hair. So um, stop doing that. And I figured it would be, uh, I don't know, it, I feel silly by spending a bunch of money on expensive products right now, but 
uh, just because of the issues I've had, I decided I wanted to try some. So I'm happy to have some now. And now I have hand lotion, which I don't use. But, uh, you know, I don't need hand lotion when I'm in the Pacific Northwest. We're in a big uh, wet bowl here, you know. What do they call it? The Humboldt hack everybody gets because it's so damp here. People get like a funny cough. Not funny, bad cough. Um, anyway, uh, so I went to the expensive store, but um, I did want some mayonnaise. Been trying to avoid this uh, because it's not the healthiest thing to eat. And I was thinking I should buy like a little uh, blender or something just so I can make my own mayonnaise, and that would kind of solve the problem of the healthy stuff about it. But um, I haven't done that yet, so. Just going to buy a little bit of mayonnaise, and I wanted some half and half, but it was way too expensive in here. Um, this store is great if stuff is on sale, but most everything wasn't on sale like half and half, so I skipped that. I did buy some chips that were on sale. Probably shouldn't have done this either, but I'm hungry because I had yogurt for breakfast and that's it. Um, oh well. I think I'll go back to, there's a grocery outlet here in this town. I think I'll just go back there and see if they have some half and half because I really don't like to run out of that. And then that'll do it for the shopping. I don't want to spend any more money uh, for a while. Look at this, another ProMaster City. This one doesn't have any solar panels though. How do they charge their phone? Okay, that was very much worth driving the three blocks back out of my way. Uh, although I should have just pulled in here. I didn't realize I was driving by a grocery outlet until I was going past it, but I'm glad I saw it and came back because prices are a lot better here. So I didn't buy much, but I did find half and half at a much better price. And they had butter on a really good sale, so I bought another package of that. Even though I've been buying a lot of butter lately, I think it's a healthier fat. I've been eating a lot of eggs lately and it you know, they go well together. Um, so, butter and olive oil are what I've been using the most of lately. And I think that's all right. Um, I also bought some vegetables, frozen vegetables, for the freezer. Uh, I keep buying the same, just, uh, where are they here? They're just the cheap mixed vegetables. And they're a smaller bag and they fit in the freezer better and all. And these are really cheap. So that's why I keep buying these, but uh, I'm getting a little bored of the same thing over and over again. And this is uh, a mix of carrots and cruciferous vegetables, which I think is important to be eating more of. So those in the freezer, I think I'll put the butter in the freezer for now. And I found one other little thing. These are dried apple chips with uh, cinnamon on them. And that's all they are, just apple and cinnamon. So they look good. They were cheap. Uh, I thought they would be worth to keep on hand. I Sometimes I go for periods of time without fresh fruit. So I try to keep some dried fruit around. Uh, but it seems like it's expensive to uh, stock up on. So I thought I'd give this a try. That ProMaster City that was parked next to me just is leaving and he waved at me as he was backing out. And I thought for a second, I should ask him, how do you charge your phone? But he probably wouldn't get that joke. <laughs> uh, probably nobody else thinks that's funny either. Um, I forgot, I bought uh, one more thing. I had a gallon of water I bought so that hopefully I can stay out of the grocery stores for a few days and not spend any money. Um, now, I need to make some lunch, but uh, this is a busy little parking lot, so I'm not going to do it here. There's a park not too far away, just a couple miles away, so uh, I'll snack on my kettle chips and drive over there, and hopefully it won't be too busy, and then I can make a little lunch over there. That's uh, odd. There's a uh, auto zone connected to this grocery store, this grocery outlet. Which is a little strange, but uh, it did get me thinking. I do like to run some fuel injection cleaner through my uh, gas uh, tank every once in a while, and 
I've heard different things about different fuel injection cleaners, and I don't know if, if you've got an idea on one that's good. Um, I think Scotty Kilmer was talking about some purple stuff the last time I watched his channel. I don't watch him too often because he's a little too uh, high strung for me, but um, I don't know. Maybe it's better than just the regular stuff I've been buying at Home Depot. I normally go to Home Depot and buy fuel injection cleaner because it's a lot cheaper than the auto parts store and they don't sell that purple stuff, whatever it is. If I saw the name, I would remember it. Uh, but if you're familiar with it, you might know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm just wondering what you use. Uh, I don't use it very often, but just every so often I like to just dump a can in the tank and maybe it's doing something, maybe it isn't. But just wondering what you have to say about that. Yeah, this looks all right to me. Uh, this is just on the other side of the 101 from where I was. And there's some restrooms here and looks like a ballpark. And there's a couple of hiking trails that go out to a uh, nature preserve over toward the ocean. So it looked promising to me as a place to uh, spend a little bit of time. Uh, but first, I need to make a sandwich. Has anybody wondered about my coffee drinking today? I don't think I have uh, talked about coffee yet. Um, I'm holding out on you a little bit. This is my second cup already. Um, I'm in a funny position because people keep telling me I need to cut down on my coffee drinking. And so I don't really want to say how many cups I've had because then people get after me. And then that makes me want to be rude and tell them, hey, mind your own business. Um, and I'm, I'm trying not to be so rude. So. Uh, <laughs> So this this is a bit of a dilemma. Um, this is my second cup, and I should probably just acknowledge it and let the people tell me what they want to say, and then that'll let me be rude back. Because really, that is kind of rude to tell me to uh, cut back on the one little thing that I uh, do for myself. Uh, you know, and I, I have been cutting back on the expensive beans lately. Uh, in fact, at the moment, I'm drinking some. This is really weird. I bought this can of coffee in Flagstaff at the uh, Whole Foods. Uh, it's a Whole Foods brand of coffee, and it was their cheapest light roast that they had in the store. And the only reason I was in there was I had ordered some stuff and had it set to an Amazon locker, or so I thought. Uh, when I got there, I realized that that Amazon locker was not operational and it caused a big, huge hassle for me. I was trying to get out of Flagstaff. The weather was getting hotter and I wasn't feeling so good at that time. And I was, I just wanted out of there. And, uh, I kept getting the runaround with Amazon. They kept telling me, oh, the package will be there by five, absolutely be there by five. But then when I talked to somebody else, they'd say, no, that locker is not up and running yet. It was never up and running. We had it installed and it never got put online. And I was going crazy because uh, I just wanted to get out of there. But um, I bought that can of coffee before I knew the whole details about that uh, Amazon locker. Uh, I finally had the package rerouted to a UPS location and cost me extra to do that. Uh, which I'm not really sure why that is, but it at least it got me out of town. I didn't have to wait around for that package anymore. So I was, at that point, I was happy to pay the price. But then I was left with this can of coffee that irritated me. And so I just shoved it under my bed and I haven't touched it all this time. It's been weeks since I've been in Flagstaff. But I finally uh, got it out and opened it up because I didn't want to leave it under the bed forever. And it's actually pretty good coffee. Uh, I'm, I'm really surprised, especially for the price of it. I don't remember how much it was, but I want to say it was $5 for the can. So, you know, it was a pretty good deal uh, all in all, but uh, it was just an irritating thing for me to look at. Now here I'm talking away and I really need to make my sandwich. 
Well, this may not look so appetizing at the moment. It looks a little bit like cat food, but this is actually a tin of salmon. So something like that. And I really like the salmon and it's not very expensive if you search around for it. Uh, Target and Walmart sell this particular one at a fairly good price. So I keep a few of those around and that's part of the reason why I wanted the mayonnaise. Also, uh, one of my favorite sandwiches is a cheese sandwich, believe it or not. A cheese sandwich is the way to my heart. But uh, I thought this would be a little more nutritious today. So I chopped up uh, some Kalamata olives and some tomato. And after I was saying I don't have fruit usually, but there's tomato in there. That's a fruit, right? And then I added a little bit of the spike and this is sea salt with a bunch of dried herbs and vegetables. It's really, it's really good. I would prefer to have fresh herbs, but sometimes I can't find those either. So this works pretty well as a pantry item. Uh, well, I'm almost out of bread. I wanted to buy some bread and I look for it at both of the stores, but uh, it was uh, not a good price at the health food store. They did have a really nice loaf of Levan, which is one of my favorite uh, types of bread. It's uh, like a sourdough uh, bread. It's naturally fermented and really good if you can find a good one. And it looked fantastic, but it was $8 for that loaf. So I, I said, nope, not doing that. Yeah, so I may need to just make some tortillas today or tomorrow. Um, the thing about it is I use a, a ton of propane when I make a batch of tortillas and so it kind of makes it a little bit expensive for me and I think I need to get propane I'm down to my second tank I'm not sure how much gas is left in there so kind of holding off on making tortillas just for that but I should probably just plan on getting some propane and making some tortillas it'd be a better way to go than to buy a eight dollar loaf of bread Well, this park is cleared out all of a sudden. I'm not really sure why. Maybe the locals know something I don't. But uh, these are the trails I was talking about, and I think I'm gonna just try my luck at one here, and here I am, so I'll go this way. And I think there's supposed to be a pretty good view out to the ocean, but we'll see. And if not, there's a bunch of trails around that we can check out here. I always like seeing dogs run around off leash. It always seems a little bit cruel to uh, have them on leashes, although I realize some dogs can't be trusted. But I kind of think it's up to the owner to decide if a dog is good or not and whether it should be allowed to run free. Uh, when I was in Truckee a few weeks back, I was hiking on a trail that uh, dogs are supposed to be leashed, but it seemed like half of the people were just letting them run free, which I didn't have a problem with. I, you know, it does, I don't really care about the rules like that. I kind of figure the owners know better. But uh, one of the dogs actually nipped my hand as he walked by, so uh, maybe their rules are there uh, for a good reason. So this is the Mad River right behind us, and then beyond that would be the Pacific Ocean. This is such a cool area, and it's so awesome to have this spot so close to a city. This is what makes the Pacific Northwest just the best place in my opinion. And I think I'm on record uh, several times before in saying that uh, I think the Pacific Northwest is the most beautiful place on Earth. But uh, if I 
am not. I just want to correct that and say that it absolutely is my opinion that the Pacific Northwest is the most beautiful place on earth. This is such a cool area. There's a bunch of trails that I haven't got to yet. I'm thinking maybe I should just hang around this town for a little bit so I can explore a little bit more uh, because there's just so much going on here. I really don't think I'm capturing it as well as I could be, but of course I am just using a phone as a camera, so that kind of lets me down a little bit from time to time, and this would be one of those times. I was thinking about that this morning too, uh, when I was in the Redwoods. Just almost impossible to just capture everything the way your eyes capture it uh, on a little phone, an old phone too, but uh, such a great place to be. So I'm thinking I will... Uh, just hang out a bit, at least tomorrow, and maybe come back here. Um, although maybe there's some other parks too I should check out. But uh, I did my regular thing where I really didn't do a whole lot of research. And I really like that because it's just so cool to find a place like this that's just so unexpected and so just amazing. All of it's just so amazing. Just so much fun. That's the way I like to travel, so it's just fun to be able to do it that way. Well, if I'm going to stay in this town, I should probably take a few minutes and look over Google Maps and try to figure out where I'm going to park. Uh, over the years, I have really gotten to be a little picky about where I park, and I've been thinking about this lately that I'm getting pickier and pickier as the years go on. And I think it's just because I've had so many really great places to park over the years. When I first started van life, I was parking near a friend's house that had really fast Wi-Fi. <laughs> it was great. Um, funny thing, like two years later, he texted me and said, hey, do you remember my Wi-Fi wi password? Because... Uh, I I had to reset something and I forgot the password and now I can't get in and I was like, oh yeah, I have it. So I gave his password back to him. So he was probably happy that he let me use his Wi-Fi for, uh, for that time. Uh, maybe it paid off at that point, but <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Um, I think I was actually in Seattle at the time when he texted me asking for his password, but I still had it uh, in my phone. Um, Anyway, but yeah, so I've had a lot of really nice places to park and especially lately I've had a bunch of really good places um, In Mendocino It was pretty nice because I was able to park right in town Nobody cared and then I could just drive a little ways into uh, The little river area or I'd drive a little ways the opposite direction and get over to the ocean and Wow, it was just it, it was probably one of the nicer places I've ever parked, but um, I need to uh, I need to remember that there's not always a perfect place to park, but there's always a place to park. But sometimes it just takes me a little while to figure out where to go, especially if I'm in a city that I've never been in before. So I'm going to have to sit down and figure out where I'm going to, well, the direction I'm going to go in. I usually pick two or three places close to each other. I don't like to just find one spot. I like to find two or three places that are fairly close to each other, and then I'll go over to the first one. If it doesn't look good, I'll just go to the second and third one, and hopefully I have enough options there that one of them will pan out. You never know, and that's the, uh, that's the thing about never paying for a place to sleep is sometimes you just never know where that's going to be. And I've had some kind of rotten ones lately, so... Probably thinking about it too much, overthinking about it too much right now. Well, I spent a few minutes and looked at Google, and it seems like there's lots of choices of places to park. So I don't have just two or three. I've got, you know, five or six or more. Uh, so I just stopped looking at that. It's uh, senseless to put any more thought into that. 
So I'm going to put some thought into dinner tonight, and I think it's a good time just to crack into the new vegetables I've got. But uh, since they're frozen, I'm just going to take and portion out some so that they can kind of start to thaw now, uh, so I don't have to thaw them quite so much later on. I think I mentioned before I'm low on propane, or at least I think I might be low on propane, so anything that I can do to cut down on my propane use is probably a good idea at this point. Why is this carrot heavy? Oh, carrots are just on top. Okay. And honestly, I'm not crazy about the carrots, but I wanted the broccoli and cauliflower, so I'm kind of stuck with them. Okay, so I've got a little portion here, and I've got this little bag. It's made out of silicone. I bought these at Ikea uh, several months back, and the only real problem I see with them is they supposedly have a zipper seal on the top, but they don't stay closed. You zip them closed, and then you put this little top piece on. I It's just... Uh, it's not the best. Uh, I just wish it would hold just by zipping it shut, but it doesn't. And when I first got them, I thought, I'm not going to use this top piece. I'm just going to zip it closed. And then, of course, it fell over and everything dumped out of it in my fridge. So now I use the little top closure piece. So I'm going to leave that out. And hopefully those will thaw by the time I'm ready to make dinner. It's... Um, Oh my goodness, it's almost 6.30. How does the day fly by like that? Well, I think I'm going to walk for just another minute. Not too much, but I'm going to take advantage of being in a pretty place and being able to move around. Uh, looks like where I'll probably be parking tonight is not going to be a great walkable neighborhood. So, uh, I mean, maybe it will be and I can do my normal evening walk, which is what I prefer to do. Right before I go to bed, I like to just get out and walk around a bit, but that may not be the case, so I'm gonna just take advantage of being here and get out and walk around a little bit. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier today is uh, I have a little issue with my uh, charge controller. So the charge controller helps deliver power from the solar panel down to the battery. So it's supposed to always be monitoring the state of charge of the battery, and then if the battery needs power, it should deliver some of that power from the solar panel to the battery. Well, I have a little issue with my charge controller where it just doesn't deliver power to the battery for whatever reason. And uh, this morning it was actually a little brighter than it was right now, and it just stopped delivering power, so it wasn't like it wasn't getting enough power to send off to the battery. It just stopped delivering power like it's been doing to me and causing me trouble. Uh, caused me a huge amount of trouble uh, recently when I was in a much hotter area and actually drained all of the power out of my battery. First and only time in six years that I've run out of power altogether. So I... I'm a, I'm a little worried that that's going to happen again, so I try to keep an eye on that charge controller, but just did it again this morning, and the only way that I can figure out to solve it is I just uh, power cycle it. I just unplug it from the power and then wait a minute and plug it back in, and then it resets itself and starts working again. But it's just an aggravating problem, and I know I've got to replace the solar, or the, yeah, the solar charge controller, but um, good ones are expensive, and I'm just really, you know, not in the mood to spend a whole lot of money unless I absolutely have to. And the nice thing is, is as long as I can be in good weather like it is here, I don't really need to do a whole lot with it. I just need to watch it and make sure it's working. Um, but it does worry me, because if I'm away from the van for a while and I don't watch it and catch it if it's acting up, then could have another big problem on my hands. But I caught it today. So this is a different trail than what I was on earlier. This is a Hammond Coastal Trail. 
And this is a long trail. Look at that, almost four miles long. Or at least in that direction. I think it goes back in the other direction a ways too. Such a cool area to have so much open space available to the public. And no, I will not be walking the full four miles here. We'll just take a little leisurely stroll and see what this trail looks like. I was walking along thinking, well, it's a pretty trail. It's very nice. Uh, but then all of a sudden I realized I'm on the wrong trail. Well, maybe not the wrong trail, but there's a better trail over there. So this trail is a blacktop, and then it looks like there's a little uh, dirt path on the other side here. I didn't know. This one looks prettier, although there is a chain link fence on that side where this side you're surrounded by trees. I think I'm just going to go back over to this side. Uh, it's all pretty here. I mean, you know, there's no complaining whatsoever going on. Well, I'd like to keep walking. I could probably do the whole four miles, but it might be slightly dark by the time I get back to the van, so I think I should probably just turn around here. I did get a nice look at the ocean, and that was kind of my cue to turn around. Uh, this is an interesting area. Some of these houses are uh, pretty incredible. Well, I was thinking I would take that little trail back the way I came out here, but I don't know what happened to that little trail. It's gone. There is now a housing complex over here on this side. So maybe that little trail was the wrong one and I'm actually on the right one. So it kind of looks to me like people use these tree roots as a natural little staircase. So let me do the same. I think this was actually where I was earlier. Let's see if I can get over to the other side and to that other trail. Oh yeah, it's a little path there. I'm not the first one to do this, following in everybody else's footsteps. Let's see what this other trail looks like. I mean, that's not the most beautiful thing to look at. Wastewater management facility. <laughs> but this is good. Well, as usual, I always walk much farther than I intend to walk, but that's okay, um, especially because I just met a couple of people here on the trail, and then I had met somebody earlier. Uh, it, just incredible how friendly people are here. Uh, just great conversations today, just in this area alone. Um, it makes being here just a little bit extra special, I think. I don't think people really realize just how friendly the locals are here. It's not only just gorgeous everywhere you look, but everybody's just so friendly. Um, I've really missed that. I'm, I'm from an area of Southern California that is really friendly and outgoing. You just meet people that will give you the shirt off their back, quite literally. Um, and uh, I like that feeling, you know, of just being able to strike, a com strike up a conversation with just anybody that, that you might meet along the trail as you're just walking along. And uh, so it makes it feel very homey here, even though I don't think I've ever actually really been here before. I've just driven through this city. As I was walking back toward the van, I got a little scare all of a sudden because I thought, hey, it's a quarter to eight now, and when does this parking lot close? And then I remembered, I'm fine, the parking lot closes at nine. But uh, I really should take more note of that so I don't scare myself like that. But um, it's late enough now, I think I'll head over and find a place to park. And uh, like I said before, I think there's quite a few places to park uh, back 
over in the direction of the grocery stores I was at earlier. So I'm just going to head over there and go down my little list. I'll make a little loop. I basically tag a bunch on Google Maps and then I'll go to the first one. If it doesn't look good, I'll just move on to the second one. And there's a bunch of places over there. So I'm sure this won't be very difficult. This spot looks fine to me. There's an apartment complex here on my right, and I'm just parked on the street. There's no street signs saying that I can't park here. Uh, the only thing is it's a little bit busy of a street, which I didn't realize until now. So I'm just going to walk around the block a little bit and just see if I can find a better place. And if not, I'll just come back and settle up here. Well, I just walked up the block about half a mile, and this seems like a perfectly good spot. I didn't see anything that was going to be any better or worse. So this will be home for tonight. Uh, it might be a little noisy, but I think it's just people going home from work. But it'll be fine for one night. Uh, I find that the more tired I am, the uh, the better the parking spot looks. So, <laughs> so I parked in some pretty bad places just because I was tired and I didn't want to look for another one. This might be one of those times, but I need to get dinner started. So I'm going to turn my attention to that. The vegetables are still frozen. It's been like two and a half hours. How is this possible? I didn't think my freezer was that frozen. I guess that's a good thing. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the pan and cover it with this bowl that sits right nicely on the pan here and that way I'll steam those so I don't overcook them because if there's one thing I really don't like it's overcooked broccoli. I can eat it if it's cooked properly but if it's overcooked I don't want anything to do with it. And then to round out this meal I'm going to use up a little bit of my leftover ground beef I have in the fridge and then I'm going to make some mashed potatoes, uh, instant mashed potatoes, but these are actually really good. And this is just going to take a little bit of time because I've just got the one burner, but that's fine. Uh, I don't have anywhere to go, and uh, I would rather have a nice dinner with everything. So I'll just take my time and get through it. Uh, I think I'm going to make some gravy, too, to go with all of this. Okay, here's my dinner already. Um, I had a little more beef than I thought I did, but I'm just going to go ahead and eat it all. I'm hungry and haven't been eating quite enough lately, so catch up tonight. And these vegetables look pretty good. I got the broccoli not overcooked, which is the important thing for me. And then I did make some gravy, uh, although I should put that in parentheses because this is really just a vegetable bouillon cube that I soaked in a little bit of water and then I thickened it up with some of these instant potatoes. I'm going to enjoy this and uh, sign off here tonight. Um, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.